Oh shit. Hold on. Trunks Coon. One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on planet Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. What? <sighs> the young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan just like Goku and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku, who was on planet Yardrat after his escape from planet Namek, returns to Earth. The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks, and he has come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered, and Goku has died of a heart virus. So he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he will come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku was determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. And then he gets a heart attack. Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure, sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm gonna head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. He can't handle, he can't handle the us, uh, he can't handle the, uh, the, the real nigga trading. Three years pass and the fated day of May 12th has finally come. Goku and the others gather by the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the android's appearance, but before they know it, they're already Up here. there, in the sky, he was attacked from above. Those fake ass androids. Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamcha and turns to face the incoming androids. I don't care what nobody say, Dr. Jiro, this design is hard as fuck. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Fuck no! Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. Damn! You gonna let that slide, Goku? Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! Goku leads the androids to a deserted area, away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know the details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that over time he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Android 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Goku only grins in response. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock! Bitch! Is that TN dead over there? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Hey, let's not do that again. You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. Hell yeah. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But 
It is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me. Yeah. Bitch. Bro, come here! Dumbass. Nigga thought he could get me. Meteor smash his pussy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on. His strength is immeasurable. You're done. You're done. You're done. I wanna figure out how to do that You're teleporting gone. thing. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. Oh shit, pick okay, Piccolo, what you got? What are they gonna add Repertaris? Goku loses consciousness after his battle with the androids. Once he's been given the medicine from Trunks, he comes back, he comes to a few days later. During that time, Android 16, 17, and 18 awaken, and to make matters worse, a creature named Cell has appeared, seeking the ultimate power. It is through absorbing Android 17 and 18 that Cell plans to obtain his perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters the hyperbolic time chamber, so we can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Goku explains his training plan to Trunks and Vegeta, and the two of them enter the chamber first. A day passes, but then Goku senses an impending battle. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's so? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy. So it's got to be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan. We can't help him. Punch him. We're nowhere near their level right now. All we do is slow Piccolo down. Punch him. Uh, Dad, that energy. It, it's got to be so. <gasps> He's on the move. Why did bro sit down like that? Ooh. Okay, if I remember correctly in the anime... He went and he helped, didn't he? Like he teleported and and like got everybody out of there, and then he teleported all the way back, back here, right? So let's do something different. Let's wait for Vegeta and Trunks. I'm telling you, there's nothing we can do to help Piccolo with the level of strength we're at right now. <laughs> Come on, Vegeta. What's taking you so long? He's like. Come on, Vegeta, big bro, big bro Vegeta, please handle this for me. Later, Cell absorbs Android 17, getting one step closer to his perfect form. Check out my perfect form, it's perfect. Soon after, he also absorbs 18, thus achieving his perfect form. Following this, Cell declares the Cell Games will be held after 10 days of preparation. So I'm confused. He states he wishes to prove his strength, terrorize the world. I'm confused. Oh, I think I accidentally did the, did the cannon thing. Those choices were confusing. Completing his training. 10 days pass and the Cell Games begin. Will things go differently if I just kill Cell? The Cell games have officially begun. Now, if any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. He's so fucking sarcastic. I'll go first. Bitch. Well, well. I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Come on. It's 
There's a lot more where this came from. Hold on. You jerk. All right, let's go. You fool. Hold on, you shouldn't have did that. You're through. He's dead. Get out of here. Get out of here. Light work. Light work. Call me daddy. Call me daddy. I give up. I fought as hard as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can. Nigga, you just beat him. That's it for me. You beat him. Enjoying his fight with Goku immensely. Cell realizes what a shame it would be if one of them were to lose on a trivial technicality like going out of bounds. So he destroys the ring entirely. But to Cell's surprise, Goku announces that he's throwing in the towel. Believing that Gohan's strength has surpassed his, Goku entrusts the fate of Earth to Gohan. However, Gohan is Goku has misunderstood. Even though Gohan has obtained greater strength, he is still a kind-hearted youth. The truth is. I hate fighting, and I don't want to kill anyone. Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. Silence, bitch nigga! Cell decides he's going to purposefully enrage Gohan and force him to reveal his true power. So he produces Cell Jr. to inflict pain on Goku and the others. Oh, I'm so now beautifully perfect! Precious little baby. See those seven spectators up there? Kill them all! Oh, and do have fun. <laughs> Guys, keep your guard up! These things are way stronger than they look! Damn it all! This is your fault, nigga. I, I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. I didn't think things would end up like this. Got that screenshot. Damn. I did not just get parried by a fucking Cell Jr. Damn. Bitch. You got what you wanted. And I'll get it. Fuck out of here. They over here talking and shit. Fuck out of here. Bitch ass. Cell you Jr. Brought this on yourself, Cell. Now you're finally gonna pay for all the suffering you've caused. Go on! What are you doing? Finish him! It's all up to you! What? Do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. Damn, he done threw up a bad bitch. You, you, you son of a... In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you. This planet will explode in a burst of flame. 
if you lay a finger on me. Boom! Barbires! No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> Damn. Well, you already know what it is. Goodbye, son. I love you. I've killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. You should have finished him. <laughs> I I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! You did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad, what are you? Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. These cutscenes are so gas. His energy. It's gone without a trace. Goku uses instant transmission to bring both himself and Cell to King Kai's planet and save the Earth from Cell's self-destruction. Cell successfully regenerates his body and returns to Earth, but Gohan, inspired by Goku's words, stands to meet him, ready to end him once and for all. Everyone wants to revive Goku, but he asks him to Take stop. Take care, okay? Live your lives to the fullest, and I'll see you again when you're dead! Bye-bye! Earth may not have him there to protect it, but he's not worried so long as it has Goku and all of them. His future is in their hands now. And then the Busag! <laughs> Thanks to the father-son duo, Goku and Gohan, Earth enjoys seven years of peace until one day. Goku hears that Gohan has entered the World Tournament, and using the power of Fortune Teller Baba, he returns to Earth for just one day to participate. However, upon meeting another contender, a Supreme Kai, he learns that the terrifying Majin Buu is on the verge of resurrection. To prevent Buu's return, Goku steps away from the tournament. He instead follows after w Wizard Babidi and defeats his subordinates. However, Babidi leverages Vegeta's desire to settle the score with Goku to brainwash him. Babidi uses his powers to send Goku and the others back to the tournament arena. Uh, are we back at the tournament arena? What's wrong with you? Heedless of the spectators around them, Vegeta fires off a key blast. Goku uses all his strength to stop it, but... V Vegeta! Vegeta, tell me it isn't true. 
You let Bobbity Spell take control of you, didn't you? Because doing something like this would make me fight you. It's true, isn't it? If I hadn't gone to these links, we wouldn't be about to fight. I had one day, one measly day in which to beat you, and I wasn't going to waste it standing around on that ship. That was your reasoning? You killed countless innocents to try and repair your meaningless pride? Meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? I don't give a damn about Majin Buu. All I want is my fight with Kakarot. Here and now, I will emerge as the victor once and for all. There's no reason he ever should have bested me. He and I are both Saiyans. But I was royalty among our people. I was a prince, yet he prevailed. He, he even had the impudence to save my life before. And that is an indignity I cannot bear. Poverty, move us to some place where there's no one else around. I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here. <laughs> All right then, guess you can find somewhere else. <laughs> Goku and Vegeta are transported to another location, but Vegeta remains under Bobbity's control. However, it turns out to be Vegeta's single-minded desire to defeat Goku that allows him to shake off Bobbity's total control. For you to go this far, you must have wanted to settle the score real badly, huh, Vegeta? Can't lie, I get it. <laughs> this might take longer than I thought. It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! I'm not done yet. Damn. You're lying. Deep down, I know your soul is still the same, Vegeta. Turn that nigga around. Cause he's back shot. Oh, damn. He, he dodged. First, you wouldn't give me your best in this fight if you were too distracted. <laughs> I'm about to give you my best right now. Vegeta. I think I killed the guy. Boo! Goku intends to defeat Vegeta and Majin Buu, but Vegeta blindsides him and leaves him with a sensu bee. He then risks his own life to attempt to defeat Buu himself. Farewell, Bobby. Damn. Drugs. And even you, Kakarot. Damn. Even you, Kakarot. However, just after Vegeta lands the fatal, final fatal blow, Majin Buu immediately revives, going on to destroy the world with Bobbity just as he wanted all along. Goku regains consciousness, as he cannot sense Gohan's ki assumes he is dead. Now he must think of a plan to defeat Majin Buu. He lands upon teaching the fusion technique to his son Goten and Vegeta's son Trunks, which will allow them to combine into a fiercely powerful new fighter. Upon hearing that Goku is uh, upon hearing that Buu has gone to destroy West City, it's decided that Trunks will go rescue the Dragon Scout Raider. Right In an attempt to buy some time, Goku interrupts Majin Buu and shows him the monster. Shows the monster its further awakened form. All right, Majin Buu, kill this guy first, right now. Buu, hear you first time. Come on, big guy. Why is somebody as strong as you taking orders from a shrimp like Bobby? Bro, Nobody this was so Bobby. funny. Martin Buu is my loyal servant, and he obeys my every command. If Goku was over here instigating, bro. Dog. Damn. This nigga powerful. Damn, this nigga strong! Damn, this nigga strong! Oh, 
Oh shit! <laughs> Don't waste our time. Vegeta already tried the golden hair trick, and look what happened to him. Oh, I'm not Vegeta. There's regular old Super Saiyan. Then there's a level beyond Super Saiyan. But further beyond that. Woo! Woo! Super Saiyan 2! Oh, Super Saiyan 3! Get his ass! Get his ass! I want to. I want to see the dragon fist. I didn't. I never saw it. Woo! That's gas. Come on, hit that dragon fist for me. Accurate to the OG Budokai, bro. The OG Tenkaichi games. How you fucking miss shit when it really should hit. Damn! Knock that nigga head off. Goku is able to buy sufficient time and use instant transmission to return, leaving Majin Buu to kill Bobbity and seize his independence. Goku expended an extraordinary amount of ki during the fight, and as a result, can only remain in Earth for a little while longer. He pours everything he has into training Goten and Trunks up until the very last minute, but unfortunately, the time for him to return on the lookout has come. Goku, I'm sorry, but it's about time we took you back to Otherworld. Right, I understand. <laughs> What's the matter, Goten? Uh, Goten, honey. Do you want to give your dad a hug before he goes? Aw, oh, was that all? You should have said so, son. Bring it in. Aww. Uh -huh. Goten, you take good care of your mom for me, okay? <laughs> How sweet. Hey, Videl. Well, that's it, everybody. I'll see you all on the other side. Roach just casually floats back to heaven. Goku, who has since returned to the other world, uses instant transmission to be reuni reunited with the Gohan when he senses him training in the land of the Kais. By chance, Gohan breaks Elder Kai's seal from 15 generations ago and his latent potential is unleashed. Peanut butter Go jelly time! Gotenks is here! Meanwhile on Earth, Goten and Trunks are fused to become Gotenks. The super warrior puts his all into fighting Majin Buu, but is ultimately fucked up. A now powered up Gohan then rushes to Earth to defeat Buu. Goku sees him off and watches on from the land of the Kais. Unfortunately, Gohan finds himself struggling against Buu, who had grown stronger after absorbing Gotenks and Piccolo. With Elder Kai's life force, Goku returns to the living. He takes the Kai's Potara earrings, which promises power greater than fusion, and heads to Earth. Goku tries to use the Potara earrings to fuse with Gohan, but before he can, Gohan is absorbed by Buu, leaving Goku between a rock and a hard place. Meanwhile, Vegeta is brought to Earth with the help of fortune teller Baba. Goku tries asking him to fuse, but Vegeta rejects the idea outright. However, upon learning that Bulma has been killed and Trunks was absorbed, Vegeta has a change of heart. Ha ha! I finally found you! V Vegeta! Here and give it here! Uh... Vegito! Vegito, let's Woo! do this! Woo! Woo! Give it to me! Now! <laughs> Hold on! Touch tips! Alright! I'm Vegito, 
Kakarot to get from back. Yes, that makes me Vegeta. Bitch ass. And this. Get your bitch ass down. Skateboard on your ugly ass. Go Super Saiyan, nigga. It's Super Vegeta. Damn. Damn you. Damn you both. Not winning as easily as you thought. Don't be such a baby. Yeah, yeah. Even me, bitch. Even I'm surprised at how easily I'm kicking your face in. Bring back Dragon Ball with cussing. The hell is he doing? The hell is he doing? Oh, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. <laughs> Lame ass. Did I win? No, I did it. Fuck! Let's hope this plan is crazy enough to work. We went inside him, bro. Vegeta finds just the right opening, then allows himself to be absorbed by Boo. At last, he rescues Gohan and the others and brings them to safety. However, by saving Majin Boo in the form in which he was first appeared, the Boo before them changes into his purest form, one that lacks all self-control. Having become the embodiment of absolute destruction, he wreaks havoc upon Earth. The Supreme Kai helps Goku and his friends flee to the land of Kai's, but Boo won't be deterred. Learning instant transmission, he goes after them. The battle that threatens to destroy the entire universe begins. Your strength is truly amazing. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was Shit. bigger than you were. First, I thought it was your loved ones. That it was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on, pushed you beyond your limits. I love when Vegeta glazes. But over the years, I realized there was more. There's something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of it. Sparing no one, I killed the dominant to feed my insatiable pride. But you never fight to kill. <laughs> Or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone, as if you knew one day I would possess the tiniest sliver of the soul. And here I am, fighting alongside you. I defy all logic. By some miracle, the compassion has rubbed off on me. Yet I still don't fully understand how to do it. How can I say Get his ass! Such Get his ass! And at the same time, be so gentle. Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth of so long. Hang on, girl. You are number one. Ooh! Don't hurt back. Uh uh, you shouldn't have did that! Kakarot! Finish him off on your own. Just charge your energy all the way and vaporize this monster. I, what do you think I've been trying to do? I just didn't have a chance to concentrate. I can't focus my power. It's just so hard when he keeps coming at me. I only need a minute. One minute, that's all. Sit your ass down. I couldn't kill him, right? I wasn't Fine. able to. Because he should have died right the there. Minute. And while he's occupied, you power up. Stop looking at me like that. Vegeta tries to buy time, but Majin Buu defeats him. It is now that Mr. Satan appears and declares that he will vanquish Majin Buu himself. Seeing this, Majin Buu attempts to kill Mr. Satan. But the original Majin Buu splits from Majin Buu and begins to defend Ma Mr. Satan. However, he does not last long. Goku, who was supposed to have been building up his ki, is exhausted and in turn cannot sustain his transformation. Vegeta smiles wryly, realizing that the tide has turned against them, 
but he also has an idea. Hey, Supreme Kai's and Dende! Do you hear me up there? If you can, then say something, damn it! Vegeta! He issues orders to Dende and the others, and gathers the Namekian Dragon Balls. Vegeta then proceeds to revive Earth and all the people killed by Majin Buu. I think it's about time we let the people of Earth shoulder the burden for once. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. But even if I collect a little energy from all the people who are brought back, it still won't be enough to take down Boo. It won't just be a little bit. You'll get every ounce of spirit energy they can spare. <laughs> you really want to use a spirit bomb, Vegeta. Since I caught it go, I kind of feel like a brown dad. Okay, guys, it's all set. And you can speak not to just Earthling, but the whole universe if you want. That's more like it. Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? I like this new side of you, Vegeta. Nice going. Here we go. People of Earth, give me your energy. We need you. It's ready! Go! Incredible warrior. Woo! Boo. Come on. It was you against the universe. You nearly won. I hope you can come back once more, but good. I want to fight you again, one on one, without all the loss. I'll be right there waiting for you, only stronger. Later. It's gas! The evil Majin Buu is defeated by the spirit bomb. Goku and the others return safely to Earth. All their friends come out to greet them, including their family. You mean you can stay now? We can all be together like a real family? You and Gohan and Goten are back and there's no catch? That's right. I can't wait to get to Mount Paozu and have some of your good old home cooking, Chi-Chi. Oh, come on, Chi-Chi, why are you crying? I thought it was good news. Goku is alive once more and has defeated Boo. Now he returns to his life as a family man. And then Dragon Ball Super begins.